recently Little Nightmares 2 came out and it was amazing. I got the Oreos egg to record some footage, thank you by the way. And yeah, he played the game and he really enjoyed it too. So I just wanted to make a theory about it. Assuming if you haven't played the game, you know there's going to be massive spoilers. So please do not watch the video unless you are prepared for spoilers. Thank you. With the theory, I'm going to go straight to chapter one. This is also where the hunter is. And if you don't know who he is, then let me explain. He is the first enemy in the game who has a shotgun and he is person laying in the woods. You find his heart and free someone who is the main character of the first game, also known as Six. You free her from the hunter who, who is trapped and she ends up being saved by you. So then after that, he gets chased and there's this chase scene which is quite terrifying and I'm glad I didn't have to do it. <laughs> but yeah, he is the hunter and he wears a paper bag and the classic old style hunter boots, jacket and hat. And he even comes with his own shotgun. It's pretty epic, you know. I wish I had one of those when I was facing him. Six, just stay here, stay here, and he won't notice us. Stay here, and he won't notice us, six. The odd detail I noticed when playing the game was the paper bag. It was really strange to see him wearing one, because hunters don't normally wear that. Everything else is normal, so I don't know why that old detail sticks out. As I was thinking why he had a paper bag, I thought the signal tower. If you don't know what that is, let me explain a little bit slow. It's from a corporation called The Eye, and I probably don't need to explain that to you, because I'll explain that later. So I'll go back to that later soon. But yeah, the corporation is called The Eye, and that's what runs the broadcasting signal, which broadcasts TVs. A normal broadcasting signal. Apparently, it's not. It broadcasted some weird TV show, not really a TV show, but static, that controls and deforms people's faces. Those are also known as the viewers. If you look at them, they look a bit distorted. I don't know how to say it. They're very deformed in their faces. And that's because of the radio broadcasts that are radio broadcasting because of the Eye Corporation and the Signal Tower. And that's probably why that's the hunters wearing a paper bag. If you're wondering, their faces are deformed. Wouldn't you like to hide that? Yeah, that's probably why he wears a paper bag to me. And that's probably why you can sometimes hear him doing weird sounds. And I'm sorry, I don't have any recordings for that. He has some suffering sounds. Some weird uh, type of sounds, if you know what I mean. So let me explain that. That means basically it probably is because he's suffocating because of his face. If it's deformed and it's covering his eyeballs and his mouth, he might have to breathe a little bit differently. So it's probably suffering his neck a bit and hurting some parts around his body if they're being deformed. Okay, fun fact here. You can actually, re you can reverse the audio for the TVs that distort the viewers' faces and you can actually understand what it's saying. So normally it's impossible to understand what it's saying, but when the audio is reversed, it, you can actually hear what it's saying. It says stuff like Veronica run run and go to the ocean and fly to the ocean seas and it says stuff about the ocean multiple times and references the person Veronica twice. A bit weird. And also, I don't think the, the hunter has a distorted face. Okay, the reason that I think he would wear a bag, not really like, I, I do think he has a distorted face. But, like, the reason he has a hole there is not because he can't see. I'm pretty sure it is a different method of seeing. Or some, or any other reason. But the reason he has a hole there is probably because the eye can distort time and space. Sounds pretty crazy for a building, right? So what it does is it's made the world of little nightmares a time loop. The, the reason it's done this is because it needs to get stronger to survive. So it's made a time loop where one kid kills their older self and their older self finds dead bodies which give them more flesh to survive and food but then they kill their old, then the kid their younger versions of themselves kill their older versions then take pla then take th their new place as the older version bit hard to get in your head but basically it's a huge time loop and that is probably why the hunter has a hole in his mask. He's probably got shot multiple times, and that's why his voice sounds like he's dying. Probably because he's been shot multiple times in the legs, arms, different ways, all because it's a time loop. So there, there's my case.
Bad on chin. What I thought was a mystery was this person. I don't know why, but people think it's the parents or something like that. I don't believe, I don't know, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying in my head right now. It's a bit of a mystery to decide which one. Is it just a normal person who entered one of the traps? Like those viewers who endlessly just walked into a trap who are dead? They look terrifying. I don't know why. I just don't know which one it is, and no one knows what it is. But I want to just try and think of it. It might be the parents, assuming one of them sitting in a wheelchair, and I don't know how they would have got in the house without the wheelchair, because there's no the steps in the house. There's steps. There is no back entrance with like a little like kind of like like not steps. You had to go up steps to enter the house. So someone must have helped them up. So I believe it is the parents. That's just what I wanted to mention quick. So now I can get back to the hunter. So according to Miss Christmas Pudding, the hunter is stuffed. His family which is crazy. So let's do some stuff. <gasps> you can pick up a sausage. <laughs> Just face up the camera. As you see, the person likes food for his family. How beautiful. I don't think it's bad to it. Basically, in the upstairs of the house, you can find mm, bags of stuffing just sitting there. I even noticed it when playing. Uh, also, the hunter. I don't like his. his okay. It's a bit weird because he might have just been an older brother or something like that. Because here's the thing: he has a family. Um, if that is his family, I mean, he's like the older. He's like an older brother. So yeah, I would guess he's an older brother, just according to the size of the other per of the other kid. That seems about like a, a brother is stuffed. Uh, there's also like a father, and you may notice that most of the time. There's stuffing coming out of them. Originally, I just thought the boy, like, his eye was, like, drooping. But now I realise it's actually just stuffing leaking out of his eyes. And the, and the, the girl, the, like, maybe the wife of the house has literally no facial features. Except her face is literally blank. Except being supported by two strings. So, that's pretty crazy. That's all I have to say. What we've learned, well, we learned that the hunter might be a murderer. And that he's been shot 50 times and he's still alive. So he's basically like a zombie. Oh, great. Now I feel even more scared if next time and I'm actually going to play against him. Because I'm luckily now, I feel really great that I didn't get to play it. So that's why I want to thank the obvious egg again by playing it. So, that's all the thank you and credit I'm going to have, really. So, that's basically the theory I just thought. Is he alive? Yes. But he's, ex he's extremely, he seems like he's ill, kind of. So, he's barely alive, but alive nonetheless. So, my theory was a success. So, bye!